Hey, this is Rodney Ho with the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. I'm here with the cast, uh, part of the cast of the Crazy Rich Asians. The entire cast of the Crazy The entire cast is here. <laughs> yes, I don't know. There seems to be some missing people here. Welcome. This is Ronnie Chang, Aquafina, and Nico Santos. And thank you guys for being here in Atlanta. Thanks for having us. Uh, have you read the Hollywood Reporter cover yeah. story? Yeah. And that was about as thorough as can be. Uh, how did it make you guys feel just reading through like the fact that Netflix threw like a gazillion dollars at them and they said no? I was like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> Take the money. You know what? It's almost like a trilogy too. Yeah. Like what Lord of the Rings. I, whoever was behind the negotiating one this movie Kevin, yeah. to be impactful and, and, and a traditional Hollywood release at a pay cut. You know, like that's that's a beautiful thing. Yeah. You know okay. what I mean? How many it's times, more significant. Yeah, how many times in this industry does someone make a decision not based on the bottom line? Yeah. And they felt very strongly that it needed a, a theatrical release. Yeah for cultural reasons, to yeah. promote the idea of Asian people in leads, in, in movies, so that kids can, or whoever, young people, old yeah. people can go to a movie theater and see themselves on screen. Like, we're doing, we're doing the, the LA premiere at the, at the Chinese theater, right? And, right. and I, just, I just thought about that, you know, like how this, this might be like one of the only <laughs> really Asian movies that have been, you know, dropped at the Chinese theater. So it's like, you know, it, it comes full circle and um, it's a big movie, and you want it to be released in a big way, you know? Yeah. It's noted, uh, I think Constance in her Twitter feed noted that it's been 25 years. There was only one other major studio movie that focused on Asian American stories. That was Joy Luck Club, right. and you guys were all pretty young when yeah, that movie came out. Yeah, and this is a sequel out. to that. Yeah. So yeah. Can you imagine being like, like five years old and just watching the Joy Luck Club like on a loop? <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, like, I love the representation. It's so sad. It is. Yeah. It is. But an excellent film. I'm very happy to join the Joy Luck Club universe. This yeah. movie yeah, happens in the same universe. The same characters, children, <laughs> same exact yeah, characters. end up rich and famous. Well, there's one That's actress exactly. who was yeah. in that movie, yes. and Lisa Liu, uh -huh. which is Lisa exciting. Lou, yeah. yeah Lisa it's Lou, exciting. The legend. Yeah. The legend. Uh, yeah. yeah. So this movie is actually has a lot of comedic elements, more yes. so than Joy Luck Club. Yes. And you three are kind of like part of the core comedic crew, I guess, in a sense. You guys all bring in a different comedic qualities to, to the I mean, I think, I think there's, you know, there's a lot of comedy. There's, you know, people who, you know, are, are very funny. Like, Selena oh. is, it was one of, one of the ants. She's yes. hilarious. Very, very yes. funny. Uh, Ken Jeong, who we just... Uh, of course, your dad in the movie. Yeah. My father, my mother. Yes. Oh, oh my coaching. God. God. She's so funny. Coaching mom. It's, it's interesting, mom, yeah. like, all, all these, um, uh, first of all, it's a romantic comedy. Right. So the comedy element, you know, I feel is pretty strong. It holds its own, yeah. I think, yes. in this movie. And um, even though the two leads are pretty earnest overall, sure, yeah, yeah. yeah. they have yeah. their moments, they have the comedic moments. But yeah. I think that always serves in a movie. You know, you always have to have that, and then, and then, you know, everyone else. This is an ensemble cast. You yes. know what I mean? And, and there's so many of us. What did you guys do off camera? Well, that was fun. Karaoke. Of Dip course. Up. He loves Ariana Grande. No stereotyping here at all. Yeah. So yeah, who sang? Yeah, what did you guys each sing? You, you were the Ariana, 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 Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande. And only surpassed by Taylor Swift. Wow. Mm. Which Taylor Swift song can you do? Which one? No, no, no. All you of them? That, 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 Dream, look in your eye, and I got that grip, flip, stick, something he I haven't done in a this while. This is literally how he sings karaoke, like this. <laughs> no, he's like angrier. This. He's like, angrier. Like, is he's, and like, he's yeah. like, Oh, he's always bouncing to the beat. Something. I need to do know. Aquafina, you're known as a, as, as a rapper, but can you, are you a good singer as well? Are you, can you, do you have uh, three octaves? Or? I mean, no. I mean, no? You know, clearly my voice is only one octave, and it's in, in, <laughs> extremely bassy, if you ask me. Uh, so, yeah. Well, each of you guys have a, have a touch of color, and I, I find it fascinating. You, you've got the, uh, you, you choose to wear a, uh, a square, right? Is that just a, a, a square? A pocket square. A pocket square. We pocket went to square. a hotel to get the I'm a fashion square. square. <laughs> <laughs> I love my pocket square in the hotel. I'm like, I feel naked. We went to a hotel to get that pocket square. Yeah. So. I, I wouldn't sorry, call it a touch of color. I think that yeah, you went, you went, color you went full out. Up on me. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> I actually got this from the Salvation Army. Oh, so okay. That, yeah. And the t-shirt okay. thing was studious. Um, from some guy on the street. Yeah. Oh, yes. but, but he's got these socks, which I found hilarious. Because oh, awesome. they look Thank suspiciously you. like you. The, yeah, that's, that's because they are me. Yeah. You buy them at ryanchang.com. $10 yes. each, not including shipping. I've got them in three colors. Yep. Why? Uh, that's the good question. Why? Yes. I, Why I not? The that's ones. the real question. They're good quality. Yes. Very top quality. Yeah. Good stitching. I good, wear my blue ones all the time. Good suck. <laughs> I'm surprised we are like eight minutes into this and you haven't brought up TI and I, I can't believe it. So, cause we're Dude, I, they've been on my case for Atlanta. It's not that we hate TI. It's just that every time we, we go to a news station, yeah. he says to this like, very lovely news reporter. Hey, you know about Ti? I love Ti. I love right. Ti. Like, like we don't know who Ti is. But you've got to understand something. I I've only been in America for two years, 
So when I watch ATL in college in Australia, Here we go with the ATL. that was my introduction not only to Atlanta but to American culture. <laughs> and that movie has stuck with me over the last decade. I've always wanted to come to Atlanta, and now I'm finally here. Well, getting back to the film itself, uh, what what do you hope? Uh, you know, obviously, for it to be successful, you need more than the agents to watch this. Do you think it's got broad enough appeal that it's going to of the yes. agents? Of course. Yes. Yeah. That's the great thing about this movie is that it's it's very universal. Everybody can relate to the themes in this movie. The, the in-law situation. Yeah, I mean, like the, the whole family component, trying to find love, uh, trying to find acceptance. I mean, these are all universal themes that everybody can relate to. Well, thank you guys so much, uh, Ronnie Chang on The Daily Show, Sell Socks, uh, Aquafina, rapper, Ocean's 8. We didn't even mention Ocean's 8. Yes. And, uh, of course, Superstore for, for Nick Santos. And, uh, and, and you don't sell pocket squares, though, on the side, I right? Tell, I used to, but I didn't. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. with, with his picture on it. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you guys so thank much. Thank you. Thank nice you. Thank you. Crazy Rich Asians, uh, August 15th Crazy in theaters. Rich Asians. Open everywhere. Rodney Ho at the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. Thank you.